Hi all, this is a quick video to show you two important things that might help you in the homework. The first one being uh, being how to change the, uh, the end restrain of each members and the second being the application of wind load on structures. So to change uh, the, the end conditions of uh, a member, what you need to do uh, is to select the members that you need to modify suppose I want to modify this set of members right uh, select them right click on them now you have member 21x which means all 21 members are going to be modified click edit and in here we have uh, something called member hinge which by default is none which means no hinge which means it's rigid now we need to change it to some other type of um, boundary condition for example I need to change it to pin to change it to pin when you click on new hinge member hinge uh, it automatically creates the conditions for a pin for a pin you need to give phi y and phi z as releases which means these uh, rotations are released while the remaining displacements and the rotation about x is restrained click ok now this is number four um, number because one two three I, have, I had tried something else so uh, the numbering automatically names it as four click OK now the member start is assigned as four now you can uh, uh, you can either leave it as it is which means that one of the end uh, is pinned while the member end is kept as rigid but if you want to change both to pinned you need to click here select four click OK now you have assigned all these members to be uh, members with released rotations at the ends. Now uh, we are going to be looking into uh, the application of the wind load. Now to apply wind load you need to create wind load cases. To create a wind load you know that we have two uh, load cases here a dead load and a live load. We need to create wind load cases to use the generate tool now click on new uh, load case now the dead load and live load is already available to us now we need to name a wind load let's say wind load in direction one let's call it as wind one click the drop down menu click click on wind click ok we need to add one more so it's wind two uh, wind by default from the previous case click ok now we have created two wind load cases now we need to apply the load using tools generate and generate loads from wind loads click on vertical walls with roof ASCE the ASCE you are presented with a lot of information which you can fill based on the data that you have in case you don't have some data you can leave the default values uh, for example here the exposure category is B the type of enclosure is enclosed and the wind load is by default 49 mph I just changed it to 115 the main roof height is 36 and because in this problem it is 12 12 12 and it's 36 in case you're not sure about it you can measure it perfectly by clicking the base and the top so you have 36 measured from the software you can adjust these values uh, from the uh, according to the site conditions now the next thing is the base geometry the base geometry by default is 0000, zero, zero, zero. Uh, no, uh, now either you can find you can specify the, the geometry using uh, node by node by clicking on each of them or you can simply click on this option and select the nodes of the structures structure by simply clicking at the Nodes that not nodes of the uh, at the periphery of the structure so you can click this you can click this node you can click this node you can click this node and you have specified the base now to specify the roof again you have a flat roof you can specify either node by node or by simply clicking on this uh, which uh, is easy you can just click on this node this node this node and this node now you have specified all the nodes now the load combination uh, uh, 
the the now you need you can create load combinations here uh, these are the minimum wind loads while these are the two uh, uh, additional load cases that you can add in this case i'm just going to apply the minimum wind load for that these two options are ticked and i have unticked the rest of it and then you can specify this as wind load one and the second in the second direction as wind load two uh, click on ok as soon as you click ok you uh, are presented with the summary of, of uh, the loads the load case 3 from the from the figure you can see the load being applied here in load case 4 which is in the other direction has been shown there click on ok uh, you can see how the load has been applied you can flip through uh, these options to see the load being applied in the other direction uh, via along with other load combinations for example you want to see a load combination number four you can see the combination of all of these you can see wind load being acted upon on this direction on the, the negative x direction all these cases have been created automatically uh, and then you can simply click on calculate calculate all to do the structural analysis thank you for watching